Dan, whom do we have now? Bud, I'd like you to meet Chaplin and Mrs. David Johansson from New Rochelle. Well, thank you very much, Roxanne, and nice to have you both here. Would you step in there thank so you. you can have microphones we can hear you on? How are you, sir? Very nice to have you here with us. You are attached to the Chaplain School at Fort Slocum, New Rochelle, is that right? That's right, sir. Uh, how long have you been in the Army, in the Chaplain Service? Well, I've just uh, come on active duty now within the last few weeks. I see. What denomination? With the Lutheran Church. Sir. Lutheran Church. And how long have you been married to this fine man? Seven years. Yeah, you look like they've been happy years, too. They look certainly your have. What about children? No children. No children. Well, you can make yourselves children. Thank you, Roxanne. With our Beat the Clock game, as we showed you before, it has all kinds of props and things in there that you can play. Stunts created by Frank Wayne and Bob Howard of our Beat the Clock staff. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hope you enjoyed. I know you will. Incidentally, while I'm welcoming you folks, I'd like to take just a moment to welcome a new member of our Beat the Clock family in Fresno, California, KJEO TV. And we're awfully happy to have you folks in Fresno. Hope you enjoy being with us as much. All right, on the $100 clock, we can just set that down. As a matter of fact, Ginny, would you take this and put it over there for them so it won't be in their way? On your $100 clock, we have a problem for you. So if you'll come over here with me, I'll show you what it is. Now, first of all, if you stand right here, we're going to ask you to put on this little field jacket. And then if you will zip it up, it hooks into the bottom, you know, how you work a zipper. You get it? And long sleeves in your way there, haven't you, huh? Let's see if I can start this up here for you. Now, this has to go down in there a little further. Well, I'm telling you, this could be a stunt all in itself. There we are. Okay. Now, if you'll slip into this army raincoat, and I'm going to ask you to help. Virginia will help you, too, but you would sort of snap it up the front there. That's the idea. While she's doing that, I'll tell you what it is that you have to do so that you'll know a little bit in advance of actually having to do it. What you're going to have to do is, when I say go, is to remove the field jacket and drop it out on the floor without taking off the raincoat. <laughs> Got the idea? Now, take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. You have 55 seconds, and I'll tell you how to do it. Wait just a minute. Now, you can't remove the raincoat. Oh, no. You cannot. You can't unsnap it or anything. Boy, you were getting yourself ready for a nice, easy stunt here, weren't you? All right. This must remain snapped in on at all times. What you do is this. You remove your arms inside the raincoat. You know, slide them up inside the sleeves, then unzip the jacket. It's like you'd have that over you like a house coat, and take the thing off, drop it down, put your hands back through the sleeves of the raincoat, and you got it. Got the idea? Okay, take a look now. 55 seconds. Are you ready? Go. didn't beat the clock, the clock beat you, but a good try you made there, believe me, we kind of improved you in that. And for being such a good sport, we have this for you right here. You can slip that down just off your shoulder. Just slip it right off her shoulders. That's the idea. It'll slip right down, I think. There she comes. Boy, really had you pour it in there. Here's one of these lovely little Sylvania uh, uh, portable sets, and I hope you enjoy it in the best of good health. You and your Thank fine you. chaplain husband. Thank you very much for being with us tonight, sir. Now. Bud, we have now Airman First Class and Mrs. Daniel Snyders from Edgerton, Minnesota. Well, thank you. Stationed at Camp Kilmore, New Jersey. Boy, you give me the whole works there, don't you? Well, it's certainly nice to have you both with us, too. How are you? Step right in there, if you will. And how do you do, sir? Hi, right, goodness. Stationed at Camp Kilmer, is that it? Yes. What do you do there? I'm a shipping clerk, sir. Shipping clerk? What about yes. children in your case? We have one boy a year old. Oh, boy, when he grows up to one of these beat-the-clock games, he'll have a real wonderful time. So you take one of those and tuck it along Thank there. You sure, much. you're going to. Incidentally, you can get these, you know, at leading department stores, toy department, and leading toy stores anywhere in the United States.